Hello there, time for part two of my recent packing list, travel skincare bag. It was so nice that so many of you enjoyed revisiting an old subject in my travel makeup bag video last week. Apparently this subject is how many of you found my channel or you'd been re-watching old videos ahead of your own trips, so I've got the next skincare checklist covered. I only went to another Australian city on this short trip, so it was easy to save space and weight in my carry-on by decanting products or bringing the smallest packaging possible. Five days, absolutely no need for full size. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, part of my ongoing work with the website builder I use to make matildaonvideo.com. Because you seem to enjoy travel makeup bag selections so much, I've listed all of those previous videos in a new blog post. Hello travel minis that haven't had a holiday in a long time, nice to see you again. I also pack like this on much longer trips too. You can see an extended version of this sort of pile when I spent two months away and eight months moving around a few years ago. Some general rules I tend to follow, travel minis. That's it really, an adorable tiny version of a product is perfect to pack for a trip. Put down the big cleanser bottle. I particularly look for refillable travel minis with little screw top lids that you can top up with your favourites, or I decant products into smaller containers from brands like Muji that you can wash and reuse later on. I also hang on to any almost finished products for travel. Maybe there's four squeezes left of toothpaste or 10 spritzes of perfume, enough to last for a shorter trip and it's already a bit lighter. Let's talk through my morning and evening skincare and hair group here. First, a mini Marlin & Getz eucalyptus deodorant. This is an older favourite I like to repurchase for travel because my current Necessaire gel deodorant comes in a heavier, bigger glass bottle. Nice fresh eucalyptus scent here too, very effective for me, and a non-sticky stick formula. Morning moisturiser, go-to very useful face cream. The most consistent moisturiser in my routine over the past six to seven years maybe. I usually use it at night, but wanted to just take one moisturiser away with me. Slightly heavier, but sinks in nicely and looks smooth and fresh under makeup. My usual ultraviolet supreme screen SPF 50 plus sunscreen. The brand released some minis on their website a little while ago, so I certainly stocked up on this lovely light, more like a moisturizer SPF. They often have mini sets around the holidays. Keep an eye out. My signature scent, Jo Malone Red Roses, doesn't come in small sizes as often as their other fragrances. I've worn this for almost a decade, but I've only found one mini and one sample in that time, so I tend to hang on to the 30ml skinnier bottles when there's just a bit left and finish that off on a trip. Time to take off the day at night, and I've shrunk the steps I follow at home. Eye makeup remover first, my favourite Chanel Biphase Gentle Formula. I'm sure regulars have heard me talk about this many times before. This is a very old sample bottle, so I shake up my big bottle at home and fill this up before I leave. Incredibly gentle, very effective, no rubbing required. I do like to add in an extra makeup remover step when I'm travelling to get rid of pollution or dirt from long days exploring. This is the cutest baby I've ever seen. Bioderma Sensor Bio sample from an online order years ago. Sorry, I wish you could purchase this size. The 100ml is usually their smallest. Aven Clenos, my feels like I've been using it forever at this point, cleanser, very thorough, helps combat hormonal breakouts, but it's gentle enough to not dry out my dry skin. I top up a 20 gram Muji container and this is more than enough for more than a week. Similarly skipping the heavier, bulky glass bottle and decanting my Jerlique Rose Water Balancing Mist into a skinny Muji 50ml spray cylinder to spritz my face before hydrating steps like serum and moisturiser to help them sink in. An all-time favourite Aussie product. Hydrating serum to keep my winter skin happy. I've been enjoying a couple of bigger essences and serums. You'll see them in my 2022 favourites, not too far away all of a sudden. But I keep an original, smaller Glossier Super Bounce bottle for travel and top it up. I do still love this juicy, lightweight formula. An Aussie icon, go to Face Hero, a fantastic lightweight nourishing face oil that costs about one sixth of some of the luxury face oils I love, but feels just as luxurious and lovely to use. They sell a handful of cute mini sets on their website, but you only need one of these, then you can keep filling it up. Go to very useful face cream is back as my evening moisturizer as well. Can't refill this unfortunately, like you can with the baby face oil bottle. It's the only downside, but they do sell this mini individually to buy some backups. 
didn't go with a travel mini evening lip balm. I just brought my trusty Lana Lips Golden Dry Skin Salve. This Lanolin Honey and Vitamin E Balm was on my skincare favorites list last year to repair really dry skin, burns, cuticles. It's a miracle worker, but it's also a repairing lip balm after long days out in the winter wind. Last, a little Jerlique Rose Hand Cream. Always enjoy this creamy, rosy formula, and anything that comes in a small size is coming with me. Keeping hair very simple, I wash mine every few days, so I did it the night before I left, then I had a blow dry booked in the middle. Nice way to explore the beauty scene where you're visiting and treat yourself to an appointment you wouldn't usually book at home. So all I needed was a tangle teaser, palm sized hairbrush I've been using for years, also packed my Abitha hair detangling rose scented comb. Loving this again this year, often throw it in my handbag because it's so slim and it looks really nice if you're detangling when you're out and about. A travel sized chlorine dry shampoo wouldn't be one of my skin slash hair videos without a French pharmacy favorite, best formula I've ever used, and two clips to put my hair up if all else fails. A French butterfly claw clip from a small Aussie hair accessories brand, Minimal H, a bit bigger and stronger if you're twisting up medium to long hair. Then the Alexandre de Paris jaw hair clip looks lovely if you're doing half up, half down with a smaller amount of hair swept back. Toss in some final pieces of the puzzle, toothbrush, toothpaste, some cotton rounds and paper cotton buds, and that's it folks. If you're looking for packing inspiration, I've rounded up several years worth of travel makeup and skincare bags and an in-flight routine in a new blog post on matildaonvideo.com. One of the most seamless parts of the Squarespace website experience is how well their system can team up with YouTube videos. I just drop a link in and up it pops. If you're interested in blogging or starting a website or online store, Squarespace offer a free trial, then when you're ready to launch, you can visit squarespace.com slash Matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. Please let me know if you've been summarizing your skincare routine for a vacation recently. Are you guilty of bringing five kilos worth of big product bottles? It's okay, it won't hurt if you swap to smaller versions, I promise. Please leave your travel skincare essentials in the comments and any of your recent holiday destinations. Thanks for watching. See you next time.